Hello everybody, welcome back to Nathan's Pop Hunt, I'm the Nathan, these are the Pops. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, this is something slightly different. I bought a mystery box, mystery box, mystery bag, you could say, from Pop in a Box. This is the bag. Um, you'll notice that's quite a large bag. What I did is I had, I've got two accounts with them, one of which uh, I put on um, my referral code online a while ago onto like Voucher Cloud or something along those lines. Um, but my current one, link is in the description if you've never used Pop in a Box before and you'd like to, your first order gets 20% off with that link. On my other account though, that seems to be healthily gathering amounts. So this one, at this point in time, I got £17.50 off. So I was looking at Pops, I was looking at the 1989 Batman, I was looking at their mystery boxes, I almost bought one of their damaged mystery boxes again, which you've seen on the channel, I'll link it one up here. Um, almost got that kind of stuff, but I ended up finding this, which was reduced uh, from 99.99 to 29.99, bargain, and then obviously 17.50 off plus postage, I think I paid £16 for what, you ask? Ten t-shirts. I was astounded at the option as well, so it works out three quid each. If you count what I actually paid, it works out about 150 each. Awesome. So, I've gone into the bag, I've had a look, I went to work today, I wore one. They're awesome. I'm a very fat man, so they are very fat t-shirts. So they might not all fit if I hold them up here. But we'll see how this goes. <laughs> there is a slight issue. I'll get to that. So, let me grab the table a bit closer. We have the bag right here. So, first off, this is the one that I have already worn. Uh, this is a green t-shirt. This is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles t-shirt. So down the bottom there, you have the turtles in the turtle van. That, if you can make it out, is awesome. Really, really like this. It's got like a shell effect on it as well. Don't know if you can pick that out. Um, but yeah, really cool t-shirt. Really happy with that one. Uh, next, we pull out this. This is a neon Ghostbuster symbol. And let's drop that. There you go. So that is that. I mean, that's cool. Um, I remember seeing a lot of these seem to be Loot Crate. Uh, obviously, not Marvel, Funko have got deals with Loot, uh, loot Crate and things like that. They do the Collector Core boxes, which I'm desperate to get hold of one of the Endgame ones. If anyone can get me one of those, that'd be super. Um, so these all seem to be Loot Wear or Loot Crate t-shirts. Um, that have been released at some point. I know the Turtles one I've seen in the Loot Vault. Again, I'll put some links down here for Loot Crate, Loot Vault. Um, I've done a couple of Loot Crates a few years ago. They were chucking out when they first started, within the first year, they were chucking out some great Pops, Groots, Funko Batman, uh, Joker Batman, some other stuff. It's gone downhill since I started getting them, so I, I think I got three or four, and then I gave up. But one of which I did, I've got a goat duplicate t-shirt. Um, you may have seen me wear this t-shirt before in a previous video, but this is Robocop. Um, so I've got this t-shirt in a size that fits me a bit better now because I've put on weight. Uh, so, there you go. That is my Robocop t-shirt. So that is actually beautiful compared to the other one that I've still that I've got from previous. I mean, that's two years old at least. Uh, I've actually started using that for decorating and stuff in the garden and things like that. This one is a bit bright. Um, it's I don't know what it is to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, it's got this little symbol on the front here. Uh, don't know why we can see that, but then it's also saying. What's that? Yawamushi pedal, and then it's got the same logo on the back with Suhuki Suhuko Bicycle Club, uh, Bicycle Racing Club. So, if anyone knows 
what that is, then let me know, because I might be interested to have a look at that, because my wife has decided that she wants this t-shirt, um, just for lounging around. However, I quite like it, but a very large man in a very bright shirt, he says wearing a pink Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. Um, also, I've got Batman shirt with a cape on, so I'm not afraid to look ridiculous is what I'm saying. <laughs> um, but that shirt, I'm not 100% on. Um, this one it is from Dishonored. Um, I've never played Dishonored. I think it's a PlayStation exclusive. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but again, it is a Loot Crate exclusive t-shirt, and it's got this guy wanted for murder and such and then gives like his rap sheet down the bottom there um, reward of 10,000 coins for capture or death high crimes I'm not 100% sure that I would ever wear this outside it's always handy to have a spare clean t-shirt with this um, <laughs> but this one is possibly one of my favourite ones of the batch this is Voltron, um, like a blueprint of Voltron, which I really like. I think it's Voltron, yeah, Voltron. Um, again, it's got the Loot Crate logo down the bottom there, if you can see that. Um, it's really cool. They did one like this for Megazord um, a few years ago as well. A very, I caught a spoiler for that one um, when it was first announced. Um, Sorry, it's got a bit of masking tape or something on the back there. I've only just noticed. Um, so yeah, the, the, the Megazord one is really, really cool. I like Power Rangers. I don't know if you noticed. Um, so I would have really liked that, but that might happen. Yeah, if these are still this cheap, then why not? Um, what else we got? We have this one, which... No, no it's that one. Um... So this is Ready Player One. Um, if you've seen the film, you know the film. If you've read the book, you know the book. Uh, I really like the design on this one. It's kind of the stacks with all the, the kind of caravans all stacked up. But like when you pull back there, you can see that it's a giant arcade game. And then you've got kind of the, the arcade gamey keys and the guy at the top there, which I assume is Parzival. Um, and then the Ready Player One logo from the book down the bottom there. That's kind of a, I don't know if you can tell, that's kind of a navy, whereas quite a few of these are black, um, which I quite like. I like a bit of bit of a change up you've probably seen from my t-shirts in the past. I kind of stuck with a similar one throughout these just because they fit a bit better. But I've got a new rotation of, I'm going to say 10 t-shirts, even though we'll get to that in a moment. Um, so what are we on now? That's got to be seven. This, again another Loot Crate t-shirt. Uh, if you ever got this box, you'll know what it is. It's the Stark Enterprises Stark Racing Team um, from Iron Man 2. If you haven't seen that, where have you been? Um, it's only been out for nine years. That is Stark's Racing Team. He ends up riding it and then you end up with the whiplash battle scene after he cuts the car in half. Um, it's not the greatest t-shirt in the world. It doesn't look fantastic. It's not a brilliant design. But again, it is a t-shirt. So it shows that I'm a bit of a nerd without being obvious as well. Which I kind of like sometimes. Actually, this is the second to last one. This one, it's a white t-shirt. So not something I very often wear due to my size. Um, but it is a Rick and Morty t-shirt, which I really like. So that... It's got little Mortys and kind of the, the different characters and such built into the, the brain there. Uh, I don't know if you can make too many out. Let me closer. So you've got Squanchy, uh, Summer, Nothing, Blobface. Uh, it might even be Manbird, whatever his name is. Uh, there's Morty, uh, Mr. Meeseeks. Snowballs down the bottom there, so on and so forth. So there's a lot of stuff in that, so that'd be quite cool to have a good good look around at some point later in time. Um, so, last but not least, well, 
last and least, is this. So this, you might notice, is a bit more of a sporty fabric. This was the second or third one in the bag when I first opened it, which I was quite excited about because I've been looking for a vest for a while. Um, and it's a Batman vest at that, which has got Bruce Wayne on the back. But you might notice this is considerably smaller than everything else in the bag. Because this is as small. <laughs> so, I tried this on. <laughs> it was embarrassing. It was, yeah, I, I, I don't know why I tried it on, but I thought it would be funny. My wife laughed. Um, yeah, I've got a small vest in my, I'll be honest, triple XL t-shirt package. So I've bought 10 mystery t-shirts, which if you, it's still available now, I believe, go grab it. If it's not still available, then something flashes up here and tells you that. But that is a great deal. But if I'm only getting nine t-shirts that will actually fit me and a small vest, it's not great. Um, so what I've done is I've emailed Pop in a Box and I've said, look, thank you very much. I've got this. It's turned up. Uh, it all turned up yesterday. But I've got 10 t-shirts, one of which is a vest for starters, which... Mm, and then um, it's a small at that. Um, so I've sent them a picture of it. I've sent them a picture of the label. Uh, the, some of the stuff that I've already got in that pile as well. Uh, just show that I've ordered the triple XL. They can see that I've ordered the triple XL. But I've got a small. Um, waiting on them to come back now. Uh, I've not long finished work. So I thought I'll record this. And then at the end of the video. I'll wait until I've got everything back from them. Let them know what the situation is. Or I'll let you know what the situation is. And a big load of text. I have got some more pops that have arrived. That will be coming soon. Uh, I've got something to pick up from the post office as well, so loads of stuff coming your way very soon. Let me know what you think. Did you enjoy me opening or showing you my mystery box of t-shirts, mystery bag of t-shirts, whatever you want to class it as? Do you like the t-shirts? Do you... have you ordered these? Have you got a small... have you got different sizes in anything that you've ordered? If bleh, Just talk to me. Let me know how you've done with it. Uh, if you've had experiences with Pop in a Box customer service as well. All I've ever done is try and change addresses for delivery. Um, they don't do that if you've already ordered stuff, especially if it's pre-ordered, which I don't quite understand. Um, you haven't got it in stock. Why can't you change my address on my file? Hmm. Yeah, well. um, yeah. If you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. We're at 70 subscribers at the time of recording, so we're getting that little bit step closer to 100. I'm going to show off what I've got already here, and then my next video after that will be these are what I'm going to be putting in the giveaway. Uh, probably going to be looking three, four pops maybe. Subscribe if you want to. Um, the more subscribers we get, the quicker we get to 100. The quicker I start giving away some pops, there will be a video very shortly on which pops I'm going to give away. Probably three or four of them. We'll see how it goes. If you're going to subscribe, remember to hit the bell straight away. If you have already subscribed, hit the bell. Why haven't you hit the bell yet? If you haven't already, uh, you're going to get notified when I get my act together and get these videos out on time. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you soon.